I'm Joe Catalano with an AM Quincy News update for Thursday, November 7th. Quincy Mayor Thomas Koch says there may be a buyer for Eastern Nazarene College. Koch says there are unconfirmed reports that an out-of-state buyer is interested in the 21-acre property. However, he says nothing official has been released from the college. Koch is working with the city council to create a new zoning district that would allow for 55 and over housing on that property. Koch also says he'll use the eminent domain tool to take the property if he feels a proposed development would be detrimental to the neighborhood. ENC will close at the end of the year after over 100 years in Quincy. Koch says the city may use part of the property for some Quincy College operations. A house in Randolph went up in flames yesterday morning, about 11.30 in the morning. The fire and thick black smoke broke out at a home on Petty Pass Lane. Fire officials say the flames burned through the backyards of two homes. Investigators said they believe the fire started outside. Firefighters said the home's interiors were relatively untouched. No injuries were reported. A Massachusetts man convicted as a teen of killing a 14-year-old classmate for, quote, the heck of it in Canton has been granted parole 37 years after he was sent to prison. Rod Matthews was convicted in 1988 of second-degree murder for the November 1986 beating death of 14-year-old Sean Ouellette who he lured into the woods and bludgeoned with a baseball bat. He was sentenced to life in prison with the possibility of parole. Matthews faced a parole board for the fifth time in June. Yesterday, parole was granted. According to court documents in late October of 1986, then 14-year-old Matthews told two classmates that he, quote, wanted to know what it was like to kill someone. Matthews decided to kill Ouellette because he said, quote, it would be easy to get to him and he probably would be the least missed because he didn't have many friends. On November 20th of that year, Matthews invited Ouellette to his house in Canton after school and suggested that they go into the woods to build a fort. While in the woods, Matthews repeatedly hit Ouellette in the head with a baseball bat crushing his skull. Matthews told his friends about the murder and showed the friend the teen's body. When the friend asked why he killed Ouellette, Matthews said, quote, just for the heck of it, according to court documents. Matthews was the first juvenile in Massachusetts to be tried on murder charges in adult court. His age at the time of the murder and the attributes of youth that distinguish juvenile homicide offenders from similarly situated adult offenders was considered in the board's decision. The board added that Matthews has had no violence during his incarceration and has no history of substance abuse. At the time of his trial, Matthews' lawyers argued insanity and that Ritalin fueled his psychosis. Matthew said in previous parole bids that years of psychotherapy made him understand what made him kill and that he's learned to control his anger. Let's mother Jean said she learned of the board's decision yesterday morning from a victim's advocate and was stunned. She said the news has left her and her family shaken. The Norfolk County DA's office argued against paroling Matthews. Once released on parole, Matthews will face curfews, electronic monitoring, and mental health counseling, among other conditions. He must also stay away from the victim's family. Karen Reed's attempt to get some criminal charges against her thrown out on the grounds of double jeopardy came before the state's highest court yesterday. The state Supreme Court heard arguments from Reed's defense and the prosecution about whether two criminal charges should be dismissed. Reed sat with her family inside the courtroom yesterday. Reed's first murder trial ended in a mistrial in July, but a deadlocked jury failed to reach a verdict. But soon after, the defense said some jurors had come forward to say that they had unanimously agreed to acquit Reed on two of the three charges, second-degree murder and leaving the scene of personal injury and death. 
Reed's second criminal trial was supposed to start January 27, 2025, but both the prosecution and defense on Monday filed a motion to delay the retrial until April 1st of next year. Both sides say that they need more time to prepare as the prosecution is expected to call new witnesses that didn't testify in the first trial. Reed, a financial analyst from Mansfields, accused of hitting her Boston police officer boyfriend John O'Keefe with her SUV and leaving him to die in the snow in Canton after a night of heavy drinking in January 2022. She has pleaded not guilty to all charges against her, arguing she is the victim of a cover-up involving law enforcement and several others. O'Keefe's family is suing Reed in civil court. The wrongful death suit seeks monetary damages against Reed. A judge ruled last week that Reed will not have to be deposed in the civil case until her second criminal trial ends. A check of business news this morning and stocks soared. Yesterday, the Dow was up over 1,500 points. The Nasdaq rose 544. The S&P is up 146. Shares also higher in Europe and Asia after U.S. stocks stormed to records. As investors wagered on what Donald Trump's return to the White House will mean for the economy and the world. Dollars down, the euro is up, oil at $71 a barrel. Sports, the Celtics lose to Golden State, 118 to 112. They will host uh, the Nets tomorrow night at 7.30. Tonight, the Bruins are hosting Calgary at 7. Forecast from the National Weather Service today, partly sunny, breezy, mild, a high of 72 degrees. Cloudy tonight, lows drop into the mid-50s. Tomorrow, sunny, high of 65. Sunny on Saturday with a high 51. Cloudy on Sunday and a high 58. For the boater, waves about a foot. A west wind, 5 to 10, gusting to 20 knots at times. High tide, 3.01 p.m. Sunrise, 6.25, sets at 4.29. Traffic note for River Bridge, scheduled to open Friday at 6 a.m. I'm Joe Catalano with an AM Quincy News update for Thursday, November 7th.